Hi, I'm Toby from Archeria and in this fourth part of the video I'm going to show you how you can integrate Spark into a live setup. So let's do it! Another great way to use Spark Live is by using the main panel. The fun thing about the main panel is that it has a lot on it and it gives you access to a lot of features that you need and could want when you're performing live. So you have the step sequencer, which is great because it allows you to program in steps. Um, you can also, of course, play in live by playing the pads, which I'm doing with the controller here. You can do it with the mouse as well, of course. Uh, you have the transport controls, uh, the mutant solos, which I'll be demonstrating a little bit in the video. Uh, in this video, sorry, uh, you have the instrument parameters, at least three knobs uh, per instrument, um, and you can decide what the knobs display by clicking on the little drop down menu. Uh, you have the really fun XY pad, which is great as well. It has loads of functionalities that we'll be showing in a minute. So, uh, yeah, we just heard pattern B. 10 of the kit, the 2000s, which I think is really groovy. So I'm going to go ahead and select that and uh, kind of improvise over it and try and show you a few of the functionalities of the main panel uh, in real time. So here we go. So let me show you the roller on this nice synth, synth sound here. So it's kind of a beat repeater. So what you do is you hold down your finger on the resolution you want on the XY pad and then press any of the pads you want. This works with um, any other pad as well. So yeah, let me show you the mutes and solos. Let's go ahead and solo the sound. Go ahead and look at the uh, filters in here. Let's have a look at the slice as well. Though. Reverse mode is kind of fun for this kit. You get some kind of subtle variation and then kind of silly as well though. It's pretty fun. Okay, let's let's write in some some move. Let's write in some stuff. So yeah, if you're in a, if you're in mute, you can obviously press the pads to mute them. But if you want to keep playing uh, without muting the pads, what you can do is you can press the select button, and now just the muted pads will be muted, but you can play the rest, so... So let's go back into mute mode and unmute that. Let's add a little bit of uh, automation to that. Let's change the pitch of this, this guy a bit, so I'm going to go into sequencer and 
take out what's already in there. So that's it cleared, so now we can put this in tune mode. So I'm just going to turn it up a little bit, and to do that I'm just scrolling through the parameters by holding down the select knob on the controller and turning the, the knob I want to choose. Sends on this, put a bit more reverb in it. There you go, that's some of the stuff that you can do with the Spark 2 software main panel using it live.